and they're off and racing. This is the listed racing TV snowdrop Philly Stakes race. Just for the first 100 meters, Tango tonight a little bit slow to get going, but rapidly in touch and coming through to sit mid-division as they sort out the order early on here with Life of Dreams getting a good start. The French raider Abhayas, the overall leader, and Laurel is up on the outside also disputing it. Light chips just in behind those. The pace seems to have steadied up. Inish Nee is next to Tango tonight. Both a little bit free, those two. Between the two of them, Sound Angela. And then watching on from the back end of the field, Don't Tell Claire in company with Magnificence as they now race round the home turn. Still four furlongs, though, left to run in the Snowdrop Philly Stakes race. And up front, Abhaya for France showing from Laurel in second place, Life of Dreams in third, and then Inishni to the outside. Light Ships are close fifth, Tango tonight in sixth place, Sound Angela comes next. Magnificence is still to the back of the field with Don't Tell Claire, and now they're on the run to the final two furlongs. Approaching the last quarter of a mile then, Abaya asked to up the ante. Laurel tries to go with her. Far side, that's Life of Dreams. And then Lightship with a chance as well. Lightship is followed then by Sound Angela, and now it's Laurel who has taken over. Laurel chased by Lightship, but Laurel goes again. Seems to have two or three gears. She's going to be impressive. Laurel, Ryan Moore on board, a lovely win. Lightship was second, Sound Angela on the outside of Life of Dreams. They were the next ones home. Days don't often go as well as this, but it has been the perfect day for trainer John Gosden in association with Thady. And you came here with three very nice horses. You must have been looking forward to today. Everything gone as expected. Yeah, I'm, particularly the Philly running line. I mean, she's tough and she's got a great attitude and she's come forward in a training and she's probably beaten some nice fillies there. And, you know, she, I thought Ocean rode a nice race and a strong headwind today. They're not going to finish well in it. They're going like running into a wall. The jocks are all telling me, but she was impressive. The, the, the Colt, he, he won the pen. a nice slip of the pen. He's, when he got to the front, he looked at the screen. A lot of them do here. Just see that screen and drift left. You've probably seen it hundreds of times before. But I was pleased he really had it like a nice piece of work. He, he didn't really get after him that much. And then this filly's shown a class today. Nice, nice, simple ride from Ryan. Kept a wide, dropped and kicked on. So it's great. Yeah, nine from nine is never an ideal draw, even when you've got a, a lovely filly like her. In the paddock, it's the first time I've seen her. She's got some substance about her. The listed filly's taken her on. Certainly looks second class compared to her. You must be really excited at how she's developed from three to four. Yeah, in fairness to her, she was incredibly mature as a two-year-old, and she looked, well, she was so weak, she looked naturally slow. She only ever counted. And at the beginning of the year, we're thinking, this isn't going anywhere. And then she just started to develop, and we haven't rushed her. The owner breeder, Judmon, uh, you know, Prince Khalid, uh, obviously, John, they, they know how to be patient with horses. And if you say you think this one's got something, they'll give you all the time, and she's, she's rewarded everyone. That's such a big thing, and it's such an important aspect, because it was only actually 10 days after Kempton that she supplemented for the Group 1. It shows you how much she, she developed so quickly. You've got entries 8 and 10, the lock-ins and the Middleton Stakes. Would you think about stretching her out potentially going I forward think, this year? I think Ryan felt stayed a mile. Stiff mile, no problem, but stayed a mile right now. And finally, running at red car as well, uh, under Rob Frieden Day, and yeah. Benoit wins the rosary, so a perfect day for you. Yeah, very good day for Claire Hill and Stables, everyone working hard. And you just hope your horses, all trainers hope their horses are just well and progressing this time of year. You don't necessarily expect to win everything. Some people are going to be more advanced than you, but you just like to see them running well. Yeah, no, perfect start. Thank you very much for speaking to me. Well done. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.